This video is about operating PSK31 using the N4PY software in the Omni 7. And it's pretty easy to do, especially if you set the software up so that you can just click the mode button here and choose PSK. So to do that, you go into the RTTY keyboard settings window and you have two sets of fields here. The first set are for when you click this button with your left mouse button and the second set is if you click this with your right mouse button. So I uh, label the button PSK, set it to upper sideband, set the offset to zero. Then for RTTY, set the label to RTTY set the mode to lower sideband, set the offset to 2100. And then come over here and click this with your left mouse button, you get PSK, click it with your right mouse button, you get RTTY. Now the other thing that you have to remember, well, depending on how you do it, I have a SignalLink USB sound card interface that's plugged into the radio through the accessory connector on the back of the radio. So that means that the uh, audio input and output for the radio are coming through that accessory connector, which means that you need to turn that accessory audio input on when you go into PSK31 mode or RTTY mode. And you can do that one of two ways. You can do it manually. So you've got this button here. If you click it, uh, then it'll take the audio input to the radio from the rear connector instead of the microphone connector. If you turn it off, then the audio input will come in through the microphone connector. Well, to keep from having to remember to do that yourself, you can let the software do it for you. So go into Preferences 3 and make sure that this manual mic accessory input is unchecked. And if it is, then if you select PSK, it'll turn it on for you. If you select RTTY, it'll turn it on for you. And if you select any of the other modes, it'll turn it off. If you check this, then you have to do it manually, you have to do it yourself. So now if you go into PSK, it did not turn it on. If you select RTTY, it did not turn it on. So uncheck this and let the software do it for you. It's a lot easier and you don't have to remember to do it yourself. Now that that's done, you need to set the audio input and output levels to the radio. And the way I do it is uh, just through what I've learned, sort of through trial and error and you know watching the various indicators and things on the software and on the radio. So set the uh, transmit output power all the way up. I set the mic gain to a value of about 50. I set the RF gain up enough to get uh, you know sufficient amount of signal coming into the radio. And then the signal link box on the front has also has uh, audio input and output transmit and receive level settings. So starting from the fully counterclockwise position, there are little tick marks around each knob the transmit and receive level knobs. Well, I set the receive level to about the 8 o'clock position, the tick mark that sets about the 8 o'clock position. The transmit level I set just past 12 o'clock, just past straight up, almost to the 1 o'clock position, but not quite. And then I leave those alone. I don't touch those. And now you have to set the sound card. So to set the transmit level coming into the radio. That'll be the playback controls and that'll be the USB audio codec is for the signal link USB. Set the levels and I set it to 0 dB. And then for the receive audio levels that's your recording controls. Again the USB audio codec set the level to as close to 0 dB as I can get without going over. So if I adjust this slider 
it's at minus 0.2 dB, now it's at plus 0.1. You know, error on the low side, so I just set it. Whoops. Yeah, you can see. It's, so I just set it to minus 0.2 dB. And that's it. So today there's a CW contest going on. So this, uh, there's there's CW signals all up and down the band, but let's uh, start the signal first. Let's set the VFO back where the VFO is supposed to be. And then we'll get this out of the way. Go to the digital load software. Let's clear that. Let's clear that. So the way the audio levels are set, you can see that I have signals but not a lot of background noise. So that's what I mean. So set the RF gain up enough. So if you lower the RF gain, you know, signals kind of go away. So we'll turn the RF gain back up to get some signals without a lot of noise, hopefully without a lot of noise. And then you can click on any of these and you should see them show up here. So that's the way I set up the receive audio. So for the transmit audio, first thing I want to do is switch over to the dummy load. So when I do that, you'll see all those signals go away. And I'll click the tune button up here, and that'll turn on the transmitter. Well, the FL Digi uh, instructions say to set your marker here at a thousand hertz and then click the tune button that turns on the transmitter the PTT light on the front of the signal link box came on the red light comes on here to show you're transmitting or you know the numbers turn red and then the power output indicator indicates about 30 watts I have an external watt meter that's indicating about 25 watts so close enough and then if you want to and, and, and I run about 25 watts output. So if we come back here and we go to the playback controls, check the levels. As I slide this, watch the power output go down. So if I turn this down or back up, then, you know, again, it shows about 30 watts output. So that's the way I do that and then turn off the tune function and it should be set so if we go back to the antenna oh and there's one other thing so I'm running the receive filter at about 2.4 kilohertz of course you can run this however you like if you bump it up to 2.8, now you'll see it goes past uh, 2400. And there's actually a signal there, well, it was, I guess. So run this, you know, as wide or as narrow as you need to run it. And if we go to 3000, yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything up here. So that's, you know, this is something you can arbitrarily set to whatever you, you'd like while you're operating. And that's about how I do it. So I hope this is useful, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.